course I can't start the video before I of course I can't start the video before I get my first two shoutouts. They're gonna be right here. So you can do me a favor, go to the channel, show them the love, and of course, just be an awesome community. Now if you want to shout out, all you do is like this video, be subscribed, and down below in the comments, leave hashtag saggy time first. Two people, leave that comment down below, we'll get a shout out for the following video. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell, that way you're aware of future videos that get posted, and you never miss out on any shout outs. I also do have a Patreon if you guys want to go support this channel, support me as a content creator, you can do that at Patreon slash that guy Julian D. At the end of the month, I will be posting a video for the people who donate to my Patreon, just to show you guys a super big thank you i do love you guys again i love actually everybody who is watching my videos who subscribe to my channel so i actually got something in the mail yesterday it was actually sunday weather did suck too but i do enjoy getting new camera gear i love when i get new gear to film with it's just who it brings me joy so i just got this yesterday yesterday was sunday but mr postman dropped it off for me it's actually a product i got off amazon but it's actually a new tripod. I'm trying out a new tripod. This is the Zomi M8 tripod. I'm actually super stoked. Super stoked to be using a new tripod. I do like the tripod I have now, but again, it's always, it's always fun. It brings enjoyment to actually get new gear. Oh, it is a nice, nice bag. Wow, this is a nice bag. I'm pretty much just stuck at this bag right now. Ooh. Mmm, smells good. I don't know, do you guys do that? Do you guys smell new gear that you get? Mm. Yeah, this is a new tripod. This is the Zomi M8 tripod. What's cool about this tripod, it's not just like any other normal tripod, but it has a special, especially unique feature. Besides being super tall. Nice. Put a little, little back on top. Showing the ball head. Again, this is the Zomi M8 tripod. But what makes this extremely unique is not that it's just a tripod, but it actually has a center column that gets pulled out. And you can sort of use it as a swing arm. It makes it a lot easier to do 360 panning. If you know what panning is, panning is when you're going left to right. But usually in most tripods, it's sort of hard to pan. Because when you have the camera, you can only go just left and right. And it's sort of hard to get that full 360 degrees. But this one, a lot easier. So what you do is you undo the side lock, undo the other lock, pull it out, boom, look at that, look at that. Now, you get full 360 smooth padding. This thing is amazingly smooth. I like it, I really do like it. Wow. This is actually also really good, say if you want to get like low macro shots or for filming. I myself do a lot of filming. And say you want to get a lower shot and sometimes the tripods do not go that low. You can actually undo the bobble head, force it up, and then this is where your camera would be on the quick release place. Yes, it does have a quick release place. But you'd put your camera there and you would bring the legs to its lowest point. you can actually step the tripod aside and get those super low macro shots that you normally can't. I really do like that. Really do like that. Or of course, you just put it like that. So, lower. But this actually does come with another attachment to make it even lower. Even lower, crazy enough. It comes with another tripod neck. Just undo the lock. Also undo the hook latch. Hook latch is actually really cool too because say if you're in windy weather and your tripod feels unstable you can actually put something on the bottom of it like a bag, a sandbag, your backpack, your camera bag to give it some kind of stability. Now back to this. You remove the neck. Put this neck back in. Remove the ball head. Removing the ball head. Remove the threading on the inside. Now the bolt that holds the ball head is actually a double-sided bolt. 
So say if you want to use like your big ball head mounts, you can do that. But if say if you have your light and you want to set light, you can actually flip around as a smaller thread so you can use your regular threading lights. You can actually attach your camera straight to it if you wanted to, which is really cool. But yes, back to this. You want to get those super low macro shots, put in the smaller neck. There it is. Now if you want to get those extremely low macro shots, filming anything pretty in particular, you just drop it down. That's extremely low for a tripod. Actually, I like this. I really like this. The tripod also has a bubble leveler. That way you can make sure that your area is level all the time when you're shooting. It's really cool. Of course, it is attached to the ball head. And again, it also does have a quick release plate so you can just remove it. Super, super cool. I actually do love quick release plates. They make everything easier, way easier when you just want to shoot and go. You just take them off, throw them into the setup, and you're good to go. What's also extremely cool about this tripod, it also does come with a monopod. If you guys don't know what a monopod is, it's pretty much just one leg, like a tripod leg. You can actually move the tripod section that says monopod on the side of the Zomi M8. Now each neck actually has threading at the very bottom of it if you want to just attach the monopod straight through. What you do is it actually comes with another screw as well, but you would just screw this in. Screw it in to the monopod while the head's on and gives you like an extension. But I think it's just too, too long. I'm not that tall of a dude, I'm only like 5'7". So you just screw the bolt in to the monopod leg. Make sure you have this joint piece. If you don't have this piece, it actually makes it harder to unscrew just the whole neck part in general. But yes, now you have a monopod. Monopod is actually really long. And what's good about monopods, really good about monopods, is say you're shooting, right? Say you're filming and you're in a super close cornered area, but you can't have a big old tripod on the way. You can actually just stand it up and you can still pan left and right. Really good. Or say if you're hiking and you want to get those photography shots, you can use a monopod. Again, this is the Zomi MA tripod. I will have a link down below in the description. If you guys want to go check it out on Amazon. Really good tripod. Now for tripods, if you are using it for photography, one of the best things you want to look for is look for a good, good foam grip. Usually the foam grip is so when you're going, you throw it over your shoulders and just head to the next shoot that you're doing. When you're filming, you really don't do that because it adds too much weight to the back, having a camera set up on it. You don't want to chance the camera breaking. But if you're doing photography, this is actually pretty good. It's, it doesn't hurt your shoulder at all just having it back here. Oh yeah, that looks good, huh? Now the Zomi M8 tripod does have rubberized feet that you can sort of extend. Actually, you can remove these if you want to replace them with hooks. If you guys want to know about hooks, they're good for soft ground. But these, these rubber legs, rubber feet, they're pretty good as well. They are vulcanized, so they won't move at all. At all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not moving. Oh yeah. Hell yes. I do like this tripod. I do like it. Now even though the center column does have a pan section, you actually still do have the pan on the actual ball head itself. So if you do like that type of style, you can still pan smoothly. This thing is really smooth. It is a fluid pan, of course. Really, really smooth. I like it. This is an all aluminum construction as well. It does also have twist locks instead of the regular latch locks. These are actually a lot easier when you want to just go. When it comes to filming, I say for myself, and I know other filmers are exact same way. When you're putting up your gear, you just want to go in and quick, just put it up and having the locks that have to clip on it takes a while even though you don't really feel it but just doing it every time it sort of gets really redundant so having twist locks that just go look how easy that was super easy just throw your tripod in your bag and you're good to go you're set really big advocate of twist locks i really do like them
And now again, I will have the Amazon link for the Zomi M8 tripod down below in the description. If you guys want to go check them out. Really good tripod. Really good tripod. But this isn't done yet. I believe when you get new gear, the best way to show how good that gear is, is to use it. So, like always, we're going to go BMX and try. Try out this gear. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Zomi M8 tripod does come with a one year warranty. And that's something that I truly do appreciate from a company. A company that's able to back their own products means that they know their products are built to last. Super stoked. But yes, we gotta go, gotta go BMX. So the rest of this vlog is actually gonna be shot on this tripod. All right, so you guys are now on the Zomi M8 tripod. All I gotta say is it's, it's really nice, but I wanna go check out the 360 panning. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna do that. I literally have this tripod set on the table at its lowest height and I'm literally eyesight. That's really good. It's not, it's not like too bulky like the other tripods I've tried before. Even the tripod I'm using right now, I can't do this. It'd be way too taller. I like it. I really, really, really do like it. Show you guys some more of that 360 panning. Nice. I like it. I'm really just carrying it. Walking doing my thing feels good look at that hell yeah not too bad at all I can actually film a whole vlog using just this tripod too cool too cool but I did say it was BMX time so yes it is BMX time I've been here. 1,000 subs! Truly, truly amazing. I gotta go somewhere else. I'm actually outside because it's a little too noisy inside the park to end this off. But, a little too bright. Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. Oh, oh, perfect. 
but I will say the Zomi M8 tripod is actually a truly amazing tripod. The panning on it is just just too buttery. It's really smooth. I like it. You can tell by all the clips that I got. Had a lot of fun. A lot of fun using it. I didn't use the monopod as much just because I was actually trying to pan as much film as I could. And it came out pretty good. It came out pretty good. Now again, if you guys want to go check out the Zomi M8 tripod, you can do that down below in the description. I have the link to Amazon so y'all can go check it out. I'm holding, holding the light because I don't want to set it up right. But of course, help me with my goal of 2018 of 10 down subscribers. So like this video, subscribe, and like always, I'll see you guys next time. I don't know, I should have not been lazy, but I'm about to put up the camera, so it's cool, it's cool. All right, love you guys.